You are provided with two dry cells. This is the positive terminal of the cell and this is the negative terminal. This is a cell holder. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. We are going to fix the cell in the cell holder such that the negative terminal of the cell goes to the negative terminal of the cell holder and the positive also goes to the positive terminal. We fix the other cell too. Positive to positive, negative to negative. We are going to connect the negative terminal of the cell holder to the positive terminal to form a battery of two cells in series. A resistor. A key. Potentiometer. A potentiometer is just a resistance wire on a meter rule. An ammeter. Jockey. and some connecting wires. So we are going to connect the circuit as shown in this diagram and we've been told that CB is a potentiometer wire. So this represents the battery and this is the resistor, the standard resistor of 2 ohms. And this is the ammeter. The symbol A represents an ammeter, and the key here is K, and J represents the jockey, and the line represents connecting wires. So we we'll start from the positive terminal of the battery, then we go into the resistance wire as the potentiometer and this is the jockey J from the jockey to the key from the key to the positive terminal of the ammeter and from the negative terminal of the ammeter to the resistor and from the resistor to the negative terminal of the battery. So we have a complete circuit and the key is open. So we'll close the key and let the jockey make contact with the potentiometer wire at a length of 20 centimeters. We will record the ammeter reading I, which is the current. So we have a table over here. The length of the resistance wire is 20 centimeters. We've converted it into meters. That is 20 divided by 100 is 0 0.2 meters, but we are leaving it in two decimal places. So we have 0 0.20 meters. And this is the current in ampere. And we have a current of 0 
ampere. We are going to evaluate the inverse of the current. So we have I inverse in per ampere. So one divided by 0 0.73 is 1.37. We are leaving everything in two decimal places. We are going to repeat the procedure for a length of 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters, and 70 centimeters, and then tabulate the results. So we move the jockey to 30 centimeters, and the current is 0 0.68. We move to 40 centimeters and the current is 0 0.63. We move to 50 centimeters And the current is 0 0.59. We move to 60 centimeters. And we have a current of 0 0.55. We move to 70 centimeters. And we have a current of 0 0.52. And we evaluate 1 divided by 0 0.68, which is 1.47. 1 divided by 0 0.63 is 1.59. 1 divided by 0 0.59 is 1.69. 1 divided by 0 0.55 is 1.82. And 1 divided by 0 0.52 is 1.92. We are going to plot a graph with L as ordinate, which is the vertical axis, and I inverse as abscissa, which is the horizontal axis. So for the plotted values, we need L. Looking at the values, they are decimals. And plotting decimals on a graph is not easy. But they can be converted into standard form for easy plotting. So for the first value, we move the point twice to the right so we have 20 times 10 exponent negative 2 that's standard form because we move twice to the right and the unit is meters so for the second value two we are going to move the point twice to the right and we have 30 the next one will be 40, next 50, 60, and 70, all times 10 exponent negative 2. So they are in standard form and they can be easily plotted on the graph. So for I inverse 2, we are going to convert them to standard form by moving the point twice to the right. So we have 137 also times 10 exponent negative 2 because we moved twice to the right and the unit is per ampere so for the second value we move twice to the right and we have 147 
the next one will be 159 the next one 169 the next one 182 and then 192 so we've converted all the values to standard form and they can easily be plotted on the graph we draw our vertical and horizontal axis we are going to plot l times 10 exponent negative 2 meters on the vertical axis and i inverse times 10 exponent negative 2 per ampere on the horizontal axis we choose a scale looking at the values on the l axis a scale of 2 centimeters to 20 times 10 is when a negative 2 meters will be okay so we start from 0 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And the negative side too, we have negative 20, negative 40, negative 60, negative 80, negative 100, and negative 120. And for the I inverse axis too, we can choose a scale of two centimeters is to 20 times 10 exponent negative two per ampere. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 180 and 200. Now, each big box is 20, and when we divide 20 by 10, we have 2. So, on the horizontal axis, each small box is 2, that is 20 divided by 10. So, we start plotting. On the L axis, we have 20, and I inverse axis, we have 137. Okay, so 20 is here. For 137, we move to 120. Between 120 and 140, we have 130, and each box is 2. So 132, 134, 136. And 137 will go into the next box. So we put our point there. And we have 30, 147. 30 is between 20 and 40. So here. And for 147, this is 140. One box is 2. So 142, 144, 146. 147 will go into the next box between the next box the next one is 40 159 this is 40 this is 160 so 159 will be here the next one is 50 50 is between 40 and 60 and 169 this is 160 162 4 6 8 9 will be between the next box and we have 60 182 this is 60 this is 180 we move one box and it's 182. The next one is 7192. 
70 is between 60 and 80 and uh, between 180 and 200 we have 190 so we move one box for 192 and so we draw our line of best fit we are going to determine the slope s of the graph at the intercept c on the vertical axis so for the slope we are going to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line and we will name here a here b and here c the slope is change in bc over change in ab for change in bc we draw this line here and it falls between 80 and 60 so that will be 70 minus we draw this line to it falls on 20 so minus 20 times 10 exponent negative 2 meters and for change in a b we draw this line so this is 180 in the middle of 180 and 200 we have 190 plus one box so 192 so 192 minus we draw this one too it falls on 137 times 10 exponent negative 2 per ampere so times 10 exponent negative 2 will cancel out and 70 minus 20 is 50 and the unit is meters 192 minus 137 is 55 the unit is per ampere so we divide 50 by 55 and we have 0 0.91 meters at the numerator and the reciprocal of per ampere is ampere for the intercept on the vertical axis this is where the line of best fit cuts the l axis or the vertical axis so we have negative 100 and uh, i think four more boxes so each box is two so we have negative 108 times 10 exponent negative 2 meters and negative 108 times 10 exponent negative 2 is negative 1.08 the unit is meters that's the unit for the vertical axis and we are going to read and record the value of i inverse when l is equal to zero this is the line l is equal to zero and this is where it meets or it cuts the line of best fit so we are going to read this point so this is 100 and 120 the middle will be one one zero so one one two one one four one one six one one 
eat. So when L is equal to zero, I inverse is one, one, eight. Times 10 is when a negative two, and the unit on this axis is per ampere. And one, one, eight times 10 is when negative two is 1.18 per ampere.